was visiting too, and I met her this morning, and when she first called my name, it was like, uh, didn't recognize her with the sunglasses, and <laughs> she took her glasses off. I was like, oh, hello again. So, just shows you about the friendliness here. All right, so, here we are, back to the street tour at Gallery 86. Some nice, probably local artwork here. Oh, it's got kind of a, um, off the grid feeling to me, the, the tractor, you know, reminding me of, of the idea of off the grid has been something my husband and I have been studying for quite a while now, over a year since we got into the RV lifestyle ourselves. So there's a lot of that in this area and um, a lot of resources to help you with it. So probably everywhere we go, we're gonna see that type of thing. Okay, so I'm going past twigs and leaves now. Yeah, talking about the outdoor. Using the out resources of the outdoors. Oh, look at that cat, that's so sweet. Beautiful picture. I bet someone would love that. How about the goat up there? That's funny. <laughs> I don't know how much glare you're gonna get in this because there's glare on the windows, but hopefully it'll be pretty good. Oh, little baking, oh, the dog baking store, you know. Biscuits for your dog. I think it's kind of silly, but you know, I love dogs, so I guess if you're really rich. <laughs> or if you want to give someone a present. God bless America, it's Memorial Day weekend. Smoky Mountain Dog Bakery. Okay, here we are at. Hmm. I'm not sure what this one is. It looks like maybe some sort of furniture store. I'm gonna go across the street. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Show you different views. I'll probably come closer to that too. But yeah, it's nice to see it from a distance. In fact, I'm gonna go back this way. So, oh, I thought I saw something else that was pretty, but... Oh, Nick and Nate's handcrafted beer. I'm sure everybody wants to know where the beer places are, because Asheville is known for its beer. Queensville is only a half hour away, so... Alright, oh, look at all these beautiful bird houses. Oh, table made out of wood. My friend. Oh, I'm looking, seeing the people behind me too through the mirror. But, um, so I really don't know how this is going to come out. It just reminded me of my friend Eva and her husband Bart, who does some incredible woodworking. Bart Haig, H A I G H. If you look on the internet, you'll find his work. He's up in Connecticut, but moving to South Carolina. They just sold their house. So. Anyone in South Carolina looking for unique artwork? Bart Haig. Um, and I'm sure he ships it too, so. Let's see. Oh, little rocket chairs and birdhouses and Americana. Beautiful, beautiful. In the purple door. I have a purple door. And he, I, th I thought I'd go this way so I didn't get you in. <laughs> oh, some doggies. Hello, puppy loves. <laughs> oh, sometimes people are shy about videos, so I try not to get them. <laughs> Alright, so we have some beautiful stonework here. And oh, look at this beautiful fountain. Wow, it's so peaceful just listening to it. Of course, if you want to get to the real waterfalls around here, and there are plenty of them, it'll be even more beautiful. But hey, that was a good precursor, and I don't know how long I'll be here on this trip, so it might take me a while to get back to the big ones. But today, I'm just going to do this little tour of downtown Waynesville and then go to Lake Juna. Juna Luska. I got the directions, wrote them down because my Wi-Fi is so bad here. So after I leave here, it's only three miles, I'll be heading over there. I will have another video for you of, from what I hear, an absolutely beautiful lake. So I'm going to finish this, the chocolate beer here, with a turnaround mountain quilts is coming up. We'll do that and then 
turn it around to the other side of the street for a minute and then we will say goodbye for today. I mean for now, until the next video. That's about it I guess. So alright, well that was it. A short tour of downtown Waynesville, North Carolina. Have a good day or night. <laughs>